Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 13. I guess I missed that one. On the last episode, I was trying to get into the, well, you can see it right over there, Shotgun Messiah, and I just don't really have the tools I need to do that. So here we are, beginning of day four. Yes, you can see it says day four at the top, and you can see the time at the top. And you can see in the top right-hand corner that I'm playing 13.2, finally. Yeah, took me a little while, but I get around to it. Now, among other changes, including being able to see the day and time, a variety of fixes have been put in place, but I gotta tell you, having spent the majority of the previous game night juggling my clothing, I'm still feeling like certain things are broken and not really working as intended. So maybe it's just me, maybe it's not. I, I don't I don't really know a hundred percent, but I will tell you, things just don't quite feel right to me. Not yet. Let's take a look at where we're at right now. Got 48 arrows. I'd actually like to make a few more of them just because I have a tendency to go through them fairly quickly here. I was just going to say I see a dude walking by over there. That's um not at all worrisome. He's just strolling by. I am in his kind of neck of the woods after all. Trying to decide here what I should grab before I take off because I think it's time to get out of this area. It's been a pretty good, a pretty good little area, but it's time to move on. And part of what I'm grabbing right now, as you can see, are yucca fruits. Or yucca fruit. Wow, that guy looks like really serious when he walks. You see the way he's kind of slamming his hands and arms down? He just... He looks serious, like, don't mess with him. He's he's serious business. Anyway, there's going to be some more stuff down the road, I'm sure, so we should probably get on with that before too, too long here. Since I am in the desert, and I'm actually in the forest when I'm in the gas station, you can see my core temperature is rising. I have all of my clothing on, the stuff that I was basically taking off and on all night, as I said while I was basically in the gas station there. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Trying not to sprint too much, just because, you know, stamina and all that. You are toast, buddy, and you don't have anything on you. I'm also collecting stones as I'm kind of pulling stuff up here. And I'm just trying to keep an eye on pretty much, well, everything, really. Let's check that trash. Um, we can take that and then scrap it. I, I'm not really looking for nails right now. You would be a backpack. Let's see if you have anything interesting. Shotgun receiver, that... Hello, cat. That could be interesting. Let's go ahead and talk about the shotgun for just a moment here. Let's throw you in there. Look at that. One more piece and we're pretty much good to go. The shotgun, as you can see, is not ready yet. And that's totally fine. That is one of the things you can do in this version of the game now. Is you can have a weapon in kind of a state of disrepair. And that's totally cool. There's no problems with doing that. I ended up doing that just because I figured, one, it's going to save me a little bit of room in my inventory, and two, well, it's going to save me a little bit of room in my inventory, so it's really all about that, actually. Let's go ahead and make another... Oh, what are you? You're a stone axe. I figure it probably wouldn't hurt to make a new one right now, and yes, I am going to chop and grab a few more stones just because I think it's going to be useful. And look at that. Quality 25. Not bad. I mean, it still stinks, but quality 25 isn't, isn't terrible. Uh, I'm not going to stick around to get tons of stuff off of you. And in fact, let's just go ahead and grab some yucca plants right now. I'm going to be drinking these a fair amount. I've already been doing that, of course, but there is supposed to be a little buff that theoretically works that brings your temperature down, but I haven't really seen that actually work, or at least it doesn't feel like it's working. And then again, I am wearing a big old leather duster and a flannel lumberjack type shirt, so maybe that's overriding things. Oh, what do we have here? That is a really high quality pistol grip. Um, let's grab another yucca plant. That way I can go ahead and queue up a couple yucca juices. Meant to do that as one batch, not two. I don't remember what I'm wearing, so let's go ahead and wear that. Oh. That's definitely better. We can put that over here for now. Pistol grip. I'm going to take that. We can go ahead and assemble this pistol, and we're going to throw in one high-quality grip. Look at that. I am feeling good about that. 
That pistol just went from gray to yellow. Oh, that's fantastic. I like that. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. We're going to scrap it, and then we can go back into our inventory here. And where is duct tape? We're going to go ahead and craft a single duct tape. Duct tape has a lot more uses in this version than it did in previous ones. Well, I guess really it was only one version it was in beforehand, but it has more uses than it did in that version. So I figure I might as well get a bit of a head start on making duct tape right now while I can. Let's go back to Yucca Juice. We're going to craft that up and let's get back to the road here. But before I do that, I want to take my duster off just to try and give myself a little bit of a cooling effect. And I'm also going to drink some Yucca Juice in just a moment just to, again, try and take advantage of that that kind of coolness buff because I really do think that's going to be helpful if it works as intended. Let's just take a quick look here, 109. I'm still climbing, which means I need to drop something so I can continue to lower my temperature. Oh yeah, I know, I'm at heat stroke. I knew that was coming. That's, that's why I wanted to drop my temperature because I knew that was going to make things difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of the eggs for right now. I have actually found so many of them that I don't think it's going to be a problem finding any more. It's really more important that I get my temperature down right now so I can move at a, a reasonable pace, never mind, so I can have some stamina if I come across something where I need to run or fight. Should also mention if I haven't already, I don't recall where I ended the previous episode, that wooden club that's down there, that yellow wooden club. That came from the gas station that was found in there, so I didn't craft that or anything along those lines. That would be quite impressive at this stage of the game if I were to craft that when I don't have any skills that would really allow me to do so. If we take a look at the map here, we are heading out east. I've been going pretty much east the whole time here. I'm just going to go ahead and say that with only six water and I think six yucca juice, that we're fine. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. There's a chicken down the road there. You see that? Little chicken running around? Yeah. Little chicken. Looks like it's trying to cross the road. Sort of. And then it's running back. I guess it doesn't want to get to the other side. I, I don't know. Chickens are funny creatures. I'm going to grab another aloe plant just because I have an odd number right now. And let me just stop and take a look at the map here. We'll figure out which way we want to go. I guess I've already kind of gone a direction at this point, right? Sort of, kind of. Uh, we have a crazy chicken lady over there. See the way she's kind of bobbing her head? She reminds me of Chicken Lady from Kids in the Hall. Um, East, I... Hmm, east and then south or north. Well, like I said, I guess I'm already kind of going one direction. Let's just stick with it. We're going to go north. Trying not to run too much again. I'm trying to conserve stamina and keep my core temperature down. Man, it is slowly dropping now that I'm not wearing a bunch of clothes, but still, it's not its not really coming down fast enough for my taste. I will say that is not particularly a system I'm enjoying right now, and it may just be because of the clothing I have, but... Like I said earlier, spending most of the night taking clothes off, putting clothes on, that sort of thing, really left a bad taste in my mouth about how this system is working or not working. Take your pick, really. Kind of feel like if I made a 25 quality axe, maybe I should consider making a new bow. That might not be a bad idea. I mean, this one's not really about to, to die or to break, as it were. I'm going to go ahead and repair it just for the experience for right now. You are still ever so slowly coming down. Look at the way these guys move. Like, what's up with that? That dude looks like he's out of um, Tommy Boy. He's, you know, bees in the car. Bees. Oh my gosh, I'm allergic to bees. What is that? That looks like a military base. If I am not mistaken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Random explosions, that means it's a military base. Let's see if we can shoot you. Oh, look at that. Brilliant shot right there, if I do say so myself. You are still alive, I think. Therefore, I'm going to put one more in you. And I, I think it's safe to say you're dead now. 
Oh, that's better than the one I have, I, I think by a, a long shot. Here we go. I'm going to just have to lose that cloth for right now. That's okay. Let us check this out. I'm feeling like that idea of maybe making another bow wouldn't be a bad idea right now, actually. Let's, let's just go ahead and drop this one. I might need to put my clothes back on. That sounds kind of weird to say out loud. Oh, look at that. 43 quality bow. That is a significant improvement. Let's check this out over here. It's been a while since I've found an army base. I don't recall seeing one in random gen before. That's a pig over there. I haven't seen a pig yet, I don't think. They weren't in random gen. They were left out of the, the XML before. That's why they weren't in random gen. Wasn't that it was incapable of spawning them. They just weren't in it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can I hit you with an arrow and then force you to come this way? Gotta say, this looks a little goofy here. Having this big old grass kind of in the way. Excuse me, sir. Uh, that probably missed. That one definitely missed. Kaboom! Ah, uh, poor guy. Didn't know what was coming. I did. He didn't. Yeah, I'm intentionally, maybe, possibly, potentially running them through mines. So I'm a jerk that way. Okay, come here. Let's run you around here. It's so easy for me to avoid them because all I have to do is stay off the grass. Stay off the grass, as Willie would say. My Willie is not particularly good accent. My, you know who I mean, right, Simpsons, Willie? You better. Y you should. Um, you're going to set that one off. This lady here is not going to set one off, so I guess I need to take her, her the old-fashioned way. Oh, look at that. My bow was good enough that I one-shot her. Ooh, food. Um, hold that. Eat. Let me grab that. And I'll drop the can. I'm not going to worry about scrapping it right now because I have more important things to do, like see if I can one-shot these guys. Are you dead? You're not. But you are now. Ish. Maybe. Those guys are a little tougher, I think, so I'm not surprised that he got up. Oh, I love watching those bodies flying in the background. That's just hilarious. We'll just put one in his chest. That's enough to put him down. Put one in your face, and I think you're going to be dead now. There we go. I'm going to wait a second just to be sure, because I've been wrong already. You dead? You're dead. Let's go ahead and put the duster on. Um, yeah, I can do that from the screen. Sorry, I'm still kind of getting used to this this UI. Everything is a little different. Not bad, just different. And it's just taking me a little time to get used to it, that's all. Okay, so I'm going to be heating up now because I put that duster back on. And uh, it's okay, it gives me a little bit of room to carry something. In this case, I'm going to grab just a touch more food. The yucca fruit isn't worth a whole lot, but it's three more than I had before. So we're going to say that's worth it. Now, I'm intentionally leaving an inventory spot open so I can do that. I want to grab a couple of these. I don't really know how many I would like. I've actually been a little curious if I was going to get any screamers coming. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, the mines aren't really my fault. I didn't create them, so I don't know if that changes things in terms of the heat map. But I'm going to say it does just because I, I truly don't know. Let's go ahead and grab this mine before I set that one off, and we'll grab just a couple more. You're pretty nearby, and you're pretty nearby. Now I'm going to need to leave some, or make some space, really. That's what it's going to come down to. Just make sure, nothing over here. Now if I remember correctly, there's... Yep, I just saw the, the text. I was going to say, I think there's a munitions box in here. And because of the way the textures align, you can actually hit that munitions box without even opening the metal. There you go. How's that for a nice little tip? I wasn't expecting to be giving tips out because it usually takes me a while to figure this stuff out, but that's a pretty good one right there. SMG parts. I'm going to leave that in there. I don't have loot respawning on, so it's not a big deal if I leave stuff here. I can always put a marker on my map after all. Let's just go up here and carefully go between the barbed wire. 
check out this cooler here. I'll take the beer. I'm going to leave the potato. Again, I don't really have... Oh, man. Shotgun shells. I'm going to leave those for now, too. I... I just don't have inventory space right now. I, I really need to figure out somewhere to go hang out. And then I can... Ooh, look at that pipe. That'll be good. That actually reminds me I wanted to do something, and I totally forgot to do that. Why didn't someone remind me? I was going to go upstairs at the gas station and dismantle... I hear someone. Oh, you're over there. And dismantle the air conditioner since I have that really good wrench. I figured that'd be a good way to get some pipes and stuff. Oh, you are dead, I think. Yep. I don't know who I'm killing in one shot and who I'm not. Oh, look at that. Five steel arrows. Oh, those are going to go away, too. Um, let's get rid of the mines because there are plenty of those where... Plenty more of those where I found those or something. Yeah, that works. Let's go check out the main tent over here. Should be another munitions crate in here. Not on this side. If I remember correctly, it'll be on the other side. But we're getting there. Iron chest schematic. Let's go ahead and read that one. That'll be a useful one down the road. There's the box. You see it over there? Hiding behind the wall. A red puffer coat. Oh, that might be... Hmm. That's a better quality than my leather duster. I should check that one out just to see how it compares. I'm overheating. I said that was going to be a problem as soon as I put my duster on again. And there you go. Getting there. I'm getting used to these timers. They're a little longer than what I'm used to, but... Ah, 10 millimeter rounds. That's not very exciting. Let's just take a look at my duster here. So we are at plus 20% insulation, 20% waterproof, 6% on the defense side. Uh, someone stuffed that in the desk. So 30 insulation, 50% waterproof, and 9 defense. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to leave this stuff for now just because where I'm at right now doesn't really call for anything along the lines of, oh, I don't know. Uh, dang it, I guess I'm thirsty. More insulation. I don't really need more insulation. I need, I need less insulation. I have too much right now because of where I'm at. There's another cooler over here. Let's check that one out. I suppose in a pinch I have beer. No, I guess I really don't. It's a negative hydration. Never mind. Check that. I don't have anything. Let's check this last tent out here. Got a backpack on the ground. Maybe it'll have something good or not. Maybe you will. No, nothing terribly exciting there. Did you hear an airdrop go by? I didn't. Maybe I was so distracted by by the camp that I totally missed the air supply going by. I think I did. Hmm, that stinks. Oh well, what can you do? I need to get rid of some stuff here because, uh, let's drop the splints. I can make those anytime, theoretically. Because I need to take my duster off again. I'm, I'm way overheating. Man, that's a shame. But I'm going to call it an episode right here. We're going to continue on down the road. And with any luck, I will not blow myself up over here trying to get out. I might need to put my my duster back on for just a moment while I am clearing the minefield. So I'll do that. But if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a thumbs down. Otherwise, let me know what you're thinking in general. Anyway, I like to hear your comments. I take the time to respond to them just about every time. Assuming I have something to respond with. Not everyone necessarily, uh, you know, leaves me room for a response. But I will catch you on another one. So until then, thanks for watching. And subscribe if you want the videos as soon as they come out. See you later.